first of all, you must realize that we have had a very polarizing uh, regime in Narok, as far as the county is concerned. Mm. You've got a governor who came into that position by dividing us. And I'm one of those people who have stood against them for the very simple fact that they have actually been uh, causing unnecessary friction between our communities. So what happened is that because in the last parliament I was in TNA, the governor was actually in, uh, uh, what was it called, in, uh, there was this root of party. Uh, yeah, URP, URP, okay? So first of all, I was only a member of parliament. So what they did from the beginning is that they actually shunned me and said that I was a uh, mm -hmm. I also fought for the restoration of the Mao. I became the enemy. I was also fighting for the rights of the community here. I became the enemy. So what they did was that any money that was supposed to go to Narok North was actually diverted. But we managed. It was like trying to use the lack of resources or the blocking of resources to make us kneel. And we have not kneeled. And the people of Narok North have survived and they have thrived without that assistance. Mm the denial of the rights. So when I get in, I will not divide the people of Narok. Mm. Whether you have supported me, whether you have voted for me, the each fact is you have constitutional rights and I must respect those rights. We will distribute our resources equitably to every part of this county and nobody will be lucky and they'll get their share. And that also goes as far as jobs are, are mm. opportunities are concerned. When uh, you talk about uh, uh, the recurrent. First of all, and I'd like to assure the people of Narok, we have got hundreds of ghost workers in the payroll of Narok County, people who are not there. There is also mismatching, okay, as far as job qualifications mm. uh, and what 